Did you know? Despite Cartoon Network's universe Fusion Fall being marketed toward kids and preteens, 37% of the Fusion Fall community was compiled of college age girls. In an interview conducted by Zam.com, Richard Welly, community director of Fusion Fall, uncovered that Fusion Fall actually has a high population of college age girls. In the interview, Welly said, We have so many community leaders who are totally out of our target demographic. So, they were, you know, girls, college girls. They love Powerpuff Girls as kids and like the anime style look of the game. So, we have a lot of strong community people who are in their late teens or even adults. Did you know that our favorite resident vampire was glitched? Dracula, as we all know and love, would appear as a temporary shopkeeper. He would sell costumes and then disappear after each Halloween event. However, in September 2012, his appearance only lasted two days. He reemerged in May, sporadically across the server, selling items. The developers attempted to remove him, but as we've learned at Fusion Fall Legacy, only computers can take him down. Last year, we were shown that Chicken and Speculated Cow were being added to the fan successor, Fusion Fall Legacy. But did you know that Cow and Chicken already had representation in the original game? Scattered around Pokey Oaks North and South as well as the downtown area, you could see billboards for Cow and Chicken's cousin, Boneless Chicken, advertising Boneless Chicken Wings. In the internal vistas and habitat homes, there were shops where you could buy Super Cow Tea. Then on Mount Neverest, among the other heroes, there is st a statue of Super Cow. Nine Thrum named their skulls were hidden and marked with Roman numerals to represent the nine wishes from Billy and Mandy. The player had to find them and receive the missions in order. Mission hints were given by NPCs. Apparently, due to their remote locations and inability to fight or move, all nine skulls were found and destroyed by the monsters in the future. In the fissure, there was Wishing Skull 5 covered in fusion matter, and there was another Wishing Skull 5 on Bravo Beach. The Omnambular may be able to create and replace some of his skulls if they get destroyed. Even though Johnny Bravo was later added to the game, he originally was planned to be in since the beginning, but he was cut for not being able to fit the story. The devs decided to leave in Bravo Beach as a way to represent his character. Who also was on the chopping block? Courage Akali Dog and Laszlo. Courage made it in, but Gridian didn't really like his model. Laszlo didn't make it in because the team thought his model came out very bad. Characters also whose models were drawn but weren't in the game are Rigby, Darwin, Raj, Clam, Chicken, and Adam. The team really didn't know how to do animals correctly. In Adventure Time, the snail would appear in each episode as a running gag. But did you know they also appeared in Fusion Fall? Twelve snails were hidden in obscure, hard to reach places. They would warp the player to a dense forest with only the snail and a cocoa egg. The egg could be golden, but they would always give the player an exclusive C-R-A-T-E item. Did you know that when the training academy was put in, the future wasn't completely removed? Some players, upon finishing their training academy, instead of being warped towards the main game, were warped to the future, or should I say, the remains of the future. Ironically known as the unknown, it was here where you can find old fusion layers and a blank map. Speaking of lazy devs. Alien X and Way Big did not initially have spots in the game. However, they were finalists in the Ben 10 Nano contest and their nanos wound up in Ice King's Palace. Way Big's Nano and a few others went into development before the game shut down. There was an Alien X mask, but it was a beat exclusive item. In the mission, Head to the Totem, you find some interesting hieroglyphics resembling Hanna-Barbera characters. Those characters include Top Hat, Scooby-Doo, Fred, Yogi Bear, George Jessen, and El Cabon. Hey, what's up guys, your magical dealer here. Um, thanks you guys for watching, we put a lot of work into this video, looking up all these weird facts for you guys. Uh, especially my special guest who is here with me today. Hi friends, Mina here. You may know me as Monaco on the FFL forums, and Mina Bell Lancer on YouTube. Magical Dealer has asked me to come and help ask, DID YOU KNOW? We've tried to pull some odd, lesser known facts and easter eggs about Fusion Fall. And I just have one more quick announcement at the end of the video. I put it at the end this time because only the people who actually watch towards the end are the people who cares about my videos. So you guys are going to get to hear this message. I'm going on a cruise in two weeks from now, but don't worry, I already got a video scheduled to go up on that week. Um, I wanted to know if you guys wanted to see, I don't vlogs? Like, I don't know, I've never done that before. Would you guys like to see vlogs of me on the cruise? Uh, there's a straw poll link down below for you guys to vote on. Hmm.